Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We're going to talk about a story in uh, The Hedge. I'm going to link it below and it is entitled A Shocked Wall Street Reacts to Lyft's Biggest Crash on Record. Before I start that, I want to give a little bit of commentary and give people a little bit of peace of mind. See, I have to say things like I'm not a financial advisor or financial professional because that's true. I'm not. I didn't go to school to get a fancy certificate and I don't have a name badge on my chest. I went and made my first million when I was 25, 25, 26. And that's not to brag. I'm trying to give you a little bit of perspective because I've been an investor for over 23 years in many, many different markets. Yet right now, the story is because the stock market is hemorrhaging right now. Because everywhere you go, every analyst out there seems to be wrong, whether it be inflation expectations, um, company earnings, uh, where the unemployment rate's going to be. Everybody seems to be wrong. It's like, oh man, oh well, it's worse than we thought. And yet it's bye bye bye, right? If you listen to people like Jim Cramer, which quite frankly, in my opinion, is sort of an educated idiot, right? Because, or maybe just a propaganda tool. Because honestly, that fancy bye 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 button, if you don't remember, uh, he was pretty famous in being completely wrong about the Lehman Brothers collapse, or at least he told you he didn't think it was that big of a deal and that Lehman Brothers was a buy. And then about a month later, it's completely gone. Or how about when he called the top of the inflation about a month ago on CNBC? You know, these people are talking heads, quite frankly. But hey, guess what? They're the financial uh, professionals. They're the ones you guys are supposed to follow. No, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my advice. All right. This isn't financial advice. This is life advice. You have to follow your heart, your gut reaction, your gut instinct. Why? Because no one is going to care about your money more than you. I don't care if they're a fiduciary or not. They care about making money. Yes, they care about making money for you because the more money they make for you, the more impressed you are and go tell your friends and they get more business. But quite frankly, they make money two different ways by you sharing their services with others and them moving your money around. So quite frankly, again, no one's gonna care about your money more than you, but let's dive into this story about Lyft because this is a big deal, I think. It says, another day, another sell side damage control dumpster fire as former Wall Street darling crashes and burns, in this case, the second biggest ride hailing firm, Lyft whose stock is cratering by the most on record this morning, plunging 30%, that is massive guys, to just above $21, the lowest price since December 2020. Now, I want to remind you what happened in December 2020. We were in the middle of the first real wave of closing down the economy. And December was the, what, the peak flu season. So obviously, there are very few people out and about running around. So to give you an idea of how bad that is, again, we are in the springtime, right? Um, we're talking about first quarter um, of 2020, where we're in 2022. Um, time's flying so fast, it's crazy. Uh, these are times when things should be getting exciting, that, that everything is opening back up, that we should be out and about, right? First quarter of 2022 should have put out some pretty good numbers, but it's not. It is abysmal. Why? Because inflation is rearing its ugly head. It is blowing up. People care more about how much they have to pay for gas. Lyft drivers are having a hard time because it's costing more money, and I'm sure their money's not going up, which we're going to see here in this story. But, um, it tells the tale of where we are as an economy. Do we have some room that we can move up? Yes, but only if the stock market moves up, it'll only be because the Federal Reserve does an about face and turns more uh, dovish and easy money policy, which quite frankly, I believe is gonna happen sooner than later. So let's go back into a little bit more of this. It says right here, as Lyft stunned, Lyft stunned bulls with far weaker than expected outlook which was so bad it dragged Uber shares down too, obviously in the exact same um, uh, investment community, right? And it forced to rush and report earnings this morning ahead of schedule. But what shocked investors was Lyft's plan to aggressively boost spending on driver incentives. Now think about that, why would they wanna do that? It's because they are having a hard time retaining drivers because it, quite frankly, it doesn't pay to be a Lyft driver. And guys, if you're a Lyft or Uber driver, please jump in the comment section below and give us your take, your stories. How hard is it? Like, what is it like to be a Lyft driver? I know a lot of people that have made full careers out of it and I sit back and go, man, that is a very interesting business model because the one thing that could really hurt people is the price of fuel. And now we're seeing that pinch. It says right here, um, uh, 
even as Wall Street analysts ever cheerfully spin this as indicating that Lyft is bullish about demand recovery, adding the post-market plunge in the stock as, as overdone, of course, this is to be expected from a sell side that as of yesterday had 26 buys and 13 holds. That's crazy. And again, the, think about this. You have these analysts trying to cheer it on. This is akin to what happened in 2006 to 2008. Analysts were continually essentially giving you a story of it's going to be better, it's going to be better, it's going to be better. It's almost like they think, analysts think that I've got to be an eternal cheerleader. I can't actually tell the truth. You know, there's very few analysts out there that aren't cheerleaders, you know, and it's funny because before the obvious, before the obvious, the day everyone runs down to the banks or banging on the doors like during the Great Depression or as um, people were being fired on Wall Street left and right in 2008 as Bear Stearns uh, closed their doors, Lehman Brothers closed their doors, many mortgage companies closed their doors. Before that event, the people that tell the truth of what's going on in the economy in real time, they're the ones that are hailed as um, people that are negative, they're spreading fear. And the only people that say that about those people are idiots, quite frankly, because they don't understand the signs of the times. Now I go that you guys, Ninja Nation, or if you're new to this channel, you're going, what's Ninja Nation? It's a group of people worldwide that are becoming uh, more and more aware of what is happening today and understanding how today's events in economics are going to affect tomorrow's uh, markets in future, right? They're people that are prepared and they're not scared because they're ready and to rock and roll. They have patience. They're going to uh, show and have to work their perseverance to uh, navigate through these markets, but find amazing opportunities. Now, are they going to happen tomorrow? No, because we're going to have about another six months of this crap of people lying to you saying, oh, it's fine. There's no fire. And there's fire literally behind you. Jay Bravo, where are you with my fire? I need fire in the background. I'm not as fancy as you. <laughs> And I know you're watching this. <laughs> so my point being is this, guys. This is exciting times. These are not times to get fearful. These are times or, well, wait a minute. These are times to get excited. But if you are fearful, if you are concerned about the markets turning, use that fear as motivation. Fear is a great motivator. It's what caused Noah to build an ark. It's what caused me to go and get prepared and build a cash position, invest in precious metals, um, diversify my assets outside of stocks, outside of real estate, right? Fear is an amazing motivator, guys. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're nuts or they're literally lying to themselves. Either way, I think they're nuts. Guys, I thank you so much for watching this channel. You guys have been such a great blessing to me. I wake up every morning because I love to read through your comments. You have amazing comments. There's so many comments, it's hard to get through them these days, but I really, really do appreciate you. And to everybody that's been emailing me lately, please understand the email boxes have exploded. And I wanna thank you again for all of your kind words and thoughts, and uh, guys, we're gonna crush it. We're gonna do it together. And as I travel this country, and travel the world actually, in this next year, year and a half, I can't wait to meet you guys. I have the greatest time of my life, me and my family, meeting you and your family. Thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.